Blackburn. Enterprises. Thank you for coming to our channel. You could have been anywhere else, but you're here with me. Back with a new movie review. Today we're going to be reviewing Beast. Yes. <laughs> Beast. This movie is directed by, I'm not even going to attempt to say his name because I'm definitely going to murder it. <laughs> but um, yes, shout out to him. <laughs> I'm going to have his name right here. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into those actors and actresses. Oh, okay. And also, this is a Will Packard production. So yes, it is. Shout out to the homie Will Packard. You know any movies that he's done? Yeah, he did. Uh, Think Like a Man. No, no, not mm -hmm. Think Like a Man. Uh, what's the one that's like that? Uh, you talking about Girls Trip? Girls Trip. Girls Trip. Girls Trip. Yes. Yes. And he yes, also and he also did uh the reality show that um, the home girls in. Um, Ready to Love. Yes, Ready to Love. Yes. Yes, he's behind Ready to Love. Yes, he is. Shout out to Shatala. Yeah. And that whole crew there. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the actors and actresses. This movie is starring Idris Elba. You might know him from previous movies such as... Daddy's Little Girls, The Harder They Fall, which we did a review on. We did do a review on The Harder They Fall. Yes, we did. So make sure y'all check that out. Check that out. All right. This movie is also starring Leah Jeffries and Ayana Haley. Yep. And uh, let's see. They've done... You know, different work here yeah. and there. You know, one of them was on Empire. Uh, yes, was I think on was, True to think, the Game. I think, I think that was Leah Jeffries that was yep. in uh, Empire. Empire time. was, and um, Ayana was in True to the Game. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into that plot. We now talk about Uncle. No, not yet. But what Uncle? They, their uncle that hosted them. Okay, Charlito Copley. Yeah, I got to talk about him. So he was in Elysium. <laughs> Oh, God. Yes, he was in Elysium. Yes, he was. <laughs> now, let's get into the plot. Yeah. So, basically, um, Ildris and his girls travel to South Africa for a nice getaway. And the getaway did not turn out to be so nice because of the animals in the land. The uh, yeah. beast that <laughs> uh, are in the land. Yeah, so you have Idris Elba who was playing a doctor, you know, and he, you know, he's going back, he's going, going back, back to South Africa. <laughs> 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 and he's going there, he's going there with his girls, he's going there to see one of his old friends, and you know, they're, you know, taking in South Africa. It's been a minute since he's been there, so you know, he's enjoying some, you know, enjoying his time, you know, with his old friend, and you know, just reminiscing about some things, and uh, and unfortunately, in the midst of him reminiscing, uh, some bad things take place. <sighs> yeah. A lot uh, of stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> so I just want to go ahead and get into the lights. Uh, I like the action. I like the, um, the realistic or realism of the situation. And that's why I'm scared to go to the safari. Right there. I want to go, but I don't know about that. Because, yeah. Uh, uh, yes, uh, as you said, um, I think how they present things, they set it up in a way that is realistic or believable, you know, so it, I guess that makes it a lot more frightening because it's, yeah. it, it's just like, you know, on some movies, it's just like you might have, you know, the, the foe that they're facing or whatever, and it's just like something that, you know, that would never happen. But in this situation, it's very believable because of what's taking place in the movie. So once that takes place, then it puts you, like I said, you are more fearful for the characters in the movie because it's like, oh, this this definitely can happen. It's probably happening, and, and y'all need to get hurry up and get the hell out of there. <laughs> right, right. All right, any other likes? The acting is awesome. The, the kids do a magnificent job. Ildris Elba, of course, do an awesome, does an awesome job. And Uncle, you know, I, that's my uncle. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like that's my uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out to yeah. Charlita Copley. If you definitely made sure to. Uh... Yeah, because he, I mean. <laughs> yeah, he, he did. He, he is, did. He... So, yeah, so the uh, so I guess one thing that I guess with the acting that I think this movie was able to do at good, was show or showcase was the relationships. Mm -hmm. I like the, the, the relationship between each one, between Idris, you know, and I guess it's almost like a best friend and uh, Shirley the Copley's here, and then the relationship between Idris and his daughters. And so, of course, the plus that I like, obviously, is, you know, showing a, a black man and the love that he has for his, you know, for his black daughters. So that's definitely a plus. But also <laughs> showing the realism of what takes place sometimes with a parent-child relationship. 
And um, just to touch on that for a little bit, because unfortunately, you know, it's making its rounds, but um, I guess there was kind of a, you know, people were talking about the fact that, you know, his daughter tried out for for his their real life daughter. You know, his real life daughter tried out for the role of his, you know, of his daughter, and you know, she didn't get it, and some people felt some type of way or whatever. But when they explained it, or you know, uh, you know, when Will Packard explained it, like the chemistry that you know, it didn't translate on screen with what was needed for this movie. And so, like I was saying about the relationships, mm -hmm. the movie definitely did, does a good job of showing those relationships, and you get to see, you know, as the movie goes forth, why the relationships are the way they are. Yeah. So yeah, I think it did a good job of doing that. It did. It did. Any likes? Yes, I also like that um, that backstory because you know the main story is them and the beast, mm -hmm. but the backstory is really um, interesting, uh, believable, and um, I like how they brought that to the forefront of the movie. Yes, I like that as well, and uh, and in combination with that with the cinematography, I like how mm -hmm. uh, I like the beautiful land and pics that they show of South Africa. A lot of times, especially in the past, not as much on, on today's times, but in, in the past, they when they show Africa, they would show it in a negative light. So when you look at the, you know, the different lands and, you know, the cities, so to speak, you know what I'm saying, they, they definitely does a uh, good job of showing, you know, how beautiful everything is, you know. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the realism, like I said, when you're in the middle of, um, I guess, the safari, maybe is the right word, and just... Seeing giraffes and seeing, you know, zebras antelope and, and all antelope and all around. these different animals, you know, does a good job of bringing you right there and, you know, like you're, you're in it. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the discount. Discounts? What am I saying? <laughs> you trying to buy something? What you trying to buy? I don't know. I need to buy something. Apparently, <laughs> you need a discount on it, whatever it is. I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> Dislikes. I dislike. The um, I already know what she's gonna say. The fact that some of the stuff didn't seem realistic. Okay. Some of the um, like when you have a certain creature, should I say, and you do a lot of things to that creature, it's not like some kind of um, I don't know um, what is the word? What's the word? I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess you're, you're like the things. I mean, got. I guess like, whatever your when, like, whatever your adversary is in movies like this, you yeah. you don't want them to be limit limitless. They have limitless, limitless power, you right? Know like so. like some type I, of superhero. I mean, or but I don't know. Like like dogs. Like dogs can. It sometimes takes a lot to yeah. To, you know, for a, a lot, dog. a lot. So, apparently, so because I've I've seen dogs get ran over and just and still and keep going. You know, yeah. Like, so and I guess mm. it's a cat, right? It's, it's a big we don't cat. know what it is. It's a beast. It's a beast. So, so we need to know. That's okay. all you know. It's a beast. We don't know what it is. Okay. So maybe it has <laughs> a thousand lives. I'm just saying if it's a. If, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's not. I, I don't know what it is. I'm just saying. It's something that's not from this world. Apparently. It seems like. <laughs> or it's driven. Or when, something and when, by you're, something. when you're driven by different, you know, when you're Absolutely. driven about certain things. You know, you you upset the balance of nature. You know, yeah. sometimes you know things happen. That's true. That's true. All right, so let's go ahead and get to our favorite part of the movie. You don't have any dislikes? No. Okay. No. Okay. As I was saying, <laughs> the rating. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a A minus. Okay. I'm gonna give it an A minus because of that one thing. It's just one thing that's got me tripping about this movie. So I'm gonna give it an A minus about that because I think I don't know. I don't understand that part, and I need to do a little more research about it. So yeah. Okay, I think I'm gonna give it a B minus. Um, and uh, I was gonna say B too. What the, 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 I was I was teetering between an A minus and a B. I mean, oh. I, I I gave it a B minus because um, like like I said, the act the acting was was on point, but I guess uh, overall with what with what was going on, you know, it wasn't. I don't know, like it there wasn't a big excitement part of the movie mm. that drew you in this is mm -hmm. more um it's more family based mm -hmm. than i would have thought it was and not that that's you know a bad thing or whatever but and it's kind of a good thing i guess like for kids you know maybe well maybe older kids maybe not like younger kids but it's something that you know you could take the family like it's a fan so it is a family movie i feel like 
and that uh, from the previews you wouldn't have saw that. So, um, just from an entertainment standpoint, I don't know if it was. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. Um, I don't know if it was as entertaining enough to, to warrant an A. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like I said, I actually thought it was like better than I thought it was gonna be. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of mm-hmm. worried about the movie in actuality. But like I said, you know, Idris Elba, you know what I'm saying, the acting, you know, kudos to Leah Jeffries and Ayanna Haley. You know, they, they did an excellent job in portraying, you know, Idris Elba's daughters. Uh, the showcasing of the relationships between father and daughter and how they can, you know, you can have some little trouble there. Everything's not always peaches and cream like we would like it to be. And so, and the realism between being in Africa and the relationships overall was made it a pretty good movie. Okay. All right. So if you want to go ahead and do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button. We would definitely appreciate it and it helps out the channel. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, bruh, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. We would definitely appreciate it. And you can see more videos like, like this, this one. one. And if you want to go ahead and do us another favor, if you want to hit that button that's shaped like a bell, you go ahead and do that. And you'll get up a notification. Every time we drop a new video. Every time we drop a new video. And if you want to go ahead and do us one more favor, you want to go ahead and comment down below. And what should they comment? What's your favorite beast like movie? Mm-hmm. Be Jurassic Park. Mm-hmm. Alien vs. Predator, all mm-hmm. those beasts of Godzilla mm-hmm. have a lot of mm-hmm. lot to choose from. Yeah, so what's your favorite movie where, you know, the characters have to face off against, against, against a, beast. a beast? Cujo. Right, <laughs> cool. That is. Yep. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> all right, we appreciate every single one of you, and I guess we'll holler at you. Peace. Peace.